Okay, so the article gives us our situation again.、Okay. You're in the food court with、uh, your friends, so、okay. you know that's usually downstairs, like B two of a mall or something. You've、right. got all the different places to buy、mm-hmm. food,、mm-hmm. and as the article says, and you've all ordered different cuisines. Okay. Okay. The cuisine cuisine means a particular style of food, and we usually associate it with a country or a particular group of people. So,、mm. Italian food, Italian cuisine; Japanese food, Japanese cuisine.、Mm-hmm. So that's what we mean. And everybody's ordered something different. Okay. Here's another fun fact: cuisine is the French word for kitchen. Ah,、oh, there we go. There you go. All right. So we're talking about international styles of food. All of your friends want to have different things. That's the great. Thing about a food court,、yes. you can buy different food, but everyone can sit together. So your Korean food, maybe you got some bibimbap or something like that. Your Korean food came with chopsticks that have a more square shape. Oh yeah, Korean chopsticks can be、mm. square or even kind of flat. Yes. Yeah, they're a little hard to use sometimes, but yeah, it's unusual. So that's your Korean chopsticks, but the article says by comparison, your friend's Japanese chopsticks are shorter. And taper to a point. Okay, here we saw the starting phrase by comparison. This is a transitional phrase, and we use it to show that what you're about to say will be different to what you just said. And you want to highlight the comparison. You want to make sure people pay attention to the differences and similarities between them. Now, this idea of a transition phrase means something you use to connect ideas and connect sentences together when you're writing. So you could have in addition to, which adds details. You could use however, which provides a contrast. You could say. To sum up, which is a transition phrase used for ending your article and kind of getting all your points together. Lots of different transition phrases, and if you learn how to use them, your writing will improve a lot. So the Korean chopsticks、mm-hmm. are flat, but by comparison, the、mm-hmm. Japanese ones taper to a、ah, point. Ah, okay. When something tapers, this verb means it goes from wide to narrow. Okay, so it's going from a wide side, wide size to a narrow size. When things taper, we often think of well, the tip of a pen, the、mm-hmm. point of a knife or a、yep. sword or something like that. It goes from a wide width down to a narrow width. We also might talk about your pants. Might taper, right? Some people like to have their pants be much narrower at the bottom、uh, yes. than they are at the top. That's a certain style of clothing, a certain style of pants、mm-hmm. that might taper down the bottom, giving you the idea that they're wider at one end and then going down to narrow at the other end. All、okay. right. Back in the article, it says another friend has Chinese food and chopsticks that are longer. And thicker than the others. Okay,、so、all the, kinds of chopsticks. The square ones from Korea, the tapered, tapered ones from Japan, and the longer, thicker ones、yeah. from China. Yeah, it's true. They're all chopsticks, but they're not all the same. So the article asks, what's the reason for these differences?、Oh. Okay, why? Now it gives、mm. us, as usual, our set of answers. Is it A? They reveal different religious backgrounds. Now,、okay. before we get on to B and C, we do need to explain a couple of words here. Religious is the first one. It's spelled R E L I G I O U S. Religious, and it's an adjective, and it means either relating to a particular religion. Or just religion in general. Okay, so are these chopsticks there for religious reasons to do with beliefs and rules of a religion? We could also describe a person as religious,、mm-hmm. which means they follow a particular religion. They follow the rules and their beliefs. That's so, right. Is that why? Is that why the chopsticks are flat because of some religious reasons? Here's another example. Some people don't eat meat. For religious reasons, so they don't eat meat because of the rules of their religion.、Mm-hmm. Now, here we're talking about religious backgrounds. That's right. The background is something. Well, it's a noun. First of all, it's basically two words, back and ground, formed into a new word. So it's spelled b a c k, back, g r o u n d, ground. Background. Your background is basically your history. Your personal history would be your family background or、mm-hmm. your background. Your country has a history.、Uh, religions have a history. All of these things have histories. That would be their background. So the religious background of the country would probably be talking about the main religion of the country,、mm-hmm. the history of that religion. 
in that country. So if we're talking about the religious background of Japan, for example, that would be a little different, right?、Yeah. Japan, the national religion is Shinto. Shinto、yeah. It's even older than Buddhism. It's Quite different, but it's changed a little bit. So the background has changed it a bit, and of course, the religious background between Japan, Korea, and China would be different in some big ways.、Mm-hmm. But Buddhism would also be pretty important、yes. in all three countries. So, as an answer, I'm not sure about that one. Anyways, we have an example sentence for the word background. The students in this English class are all. From different backgrounds, some are from Spain, some are from Pakistan, some are from Brazil. Anyway, they're all from different places. Okay, so let's get back to our three answers for why the chopsticks are different. Okay, so A again, it's they reveal different religious, religious backgrounds. backgrounds. Okay,、uh, okay. B, they、mm-hmm. were inspired by local advertisements or advertisements,、so oh. something to do with what was locally on TV or in、okay. newspapers. Chopsticks C, are really old. Yeah. All right. C. They、mm-hmm. are based on dining habits. Oh, okay. okay. The way people I eat. I think I think it's C, really.、Mm. Now here we saw the phrase "be based on." Something is based on something、mm. else, and we use this phrase to explain the reason why something began, or where that thing came from, or what was the source for that thing. Like a n- movie is based on a novel.、Mm-hmm. It was a novel first. This idea of chopsticks is based on dining culture. So、mm-hmm. the reason for the chopsticks has to do with the way people eat. All right. Well, let's check out the article to get our answer. It says you aren't out to lunch if you chose C. I knew it、so、was C. C is the correct answer. Of course, it is. It's about the dining habits and how those are different between these three different countries. Out to lunch for us today is the shortcut for you phrase. So we're going to check out this little video and then come back to find out more about international chopstick styles.